Just a quick video here to show the difference I see sometimes with my uh, hex beam uh, compared to my uh, butternut HF6V vertical and an offset fed dipole that I use that's resonant. Well, no, it's not resonant, but I can tune it to resonance on 80 through 10 meters. Um, the uh, Elcraft antenna switch down here uh, allows me to uh, use up to uh, three different antennas. And so antenna three, which is selected right here, right now, is my hex beam. Antenna two is the dipole, and antenna one is the vertical. Uh, the vertical is mounted on the ground over a radial bed of about 40 radials buried uh, under uh, the sod that we laid last summer. And it's a pretty good antenna, but sometimes the relative gain of the hex beam, uh, which is roughly 5 to 6 dB, it doesn't really uh, compare with um, the, the actual effective gain you get. Here's, here's the rest of my station, by the way. Um, just showing uh, the station I'm listening to right now in Japan. And I'll turn up the volume on him. Presently, he's on the hex beam. He's in conversation with somebody in California who is within my skip zone, so I can't hear the California station. Uh, but maybe you could see there that he was running between an S there, a good, good S9. Now I'm going to switch to the vertical. Can't even hear him. And now the dipole. And now back to the hex beam. Quite a difference. That's that's more than an effective 6 dB of gain. Uh, it's uh, pointed at about 310 degrees, which is um, the proper beam heading for Japan from here in Utah. But again, I'll just switch between these antennas while he's talking. Hex beam, vertical, dipole, and hex beam. Vertical, dipole, hex beam. So there you go. That's quite a bit more than just uh, one S unit difference between those antennas.